Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Half Court, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I style my five month locks. So this style, I'm just going to be doing like a simple bun and laying my edges and I'll get into that for you guys real quickly. So one of the first things I do is make sure I have water because I use water on my hair for pretty much everything. And I'm just going to spritz this all over and get my hair nice and moist. I'm not looking to get it soaked, just moist. Alright, so the next thing is I just kind of play around with the hair and see what style I'm going for. Uh, at this point, I decided that I wanted to kind of do a bun, so that's what I'm going to do. So the next thing I go ahead and add in is some peppermint oil. And this, I really am making sure that I'm putting on the roots of my hair um, and spreading it down from there. But I really try to make sure the peppermint oil just remains on my actual roots and my edges because um, it really makes everything feel super refreshed which is such a great feeling when you're styling or restyling your hair or just moisturizing it in general now you can see that i'm going in with the hair rinse by shea moisture and I'll leave the links down in the description below. But this one I just applied to my roots. It just makes my hair like really fine and easier to brush and comb in the direction I want because I do have a lot of like new growth and that new growth can lay down. Here I am adding in my tea tree oil. This is 100% tea tree oil that I ordered off of Amazon. I will be leaving the link in the description below. So basically what I do is I take like, um, I don't know how many drops this is, but yeah, I take uh, enough to really spread it throughout my hair. I don't like to use too much. For some people this may seem like a lot, but for me it really works on my hair. So, And I just get it into my roots, so um, that's really it. Yeah, so I was really liking my hair after I moisturized it. It felt really cute. So the next thing we do is we go ahead and get all our tools ready. So I have two different types of scrunchies that I use, a brush, and what I'm doing is I'm basically just saying like, hey, I want these two to be sticking out. Or um, So what I did is I go ahead and twisted them together, and I'm going to be working with the rest of the section of my hair. So then I take my brush and I'm just starting to brush my hair in the direction that I want it to go. Um, yeah, we're not doing anything that's too, we're not brushing it exactly um, into the ponytail, we're just brushing it in the direction so it'll be easier to style later once the hair is exactly um, laid the way I want it to. But we're just getting the hair used to the direction I'm about to put it in because it's not used to going in that direction at all. So that's all we're doing here. Okay, so now that my hair is in that direction, then I take the bigger scrunchie. So this scrunchie is really long and it doesn't have any of those metal pieces in it. And I basically put it over the entire section. And yeah, I had to move down a little bit. I put it over the entire section. And then what I actually do is I take a piece of it, wrap it around itself again, and I put it over top it again, trying to basically form it into that bun shape. And it doesn't have to be perfect because this next step is going to really define it. So yeah, I take my other scrunchie just to help secure it into place and also to give it like a cleaner look. And all I do is like tuck the ends of my locks into the bun. The locks that are sticking out, I just tuck them into it into the bun and under the scrunchie and the scrunchie is like the same color as my hair so you can barely see it so now i'm taking out these two that i had in the front and i'm just going to clean them up a little bit i'm not going to do a full retwist because i'm not retwisting them i'm just cleaning them up a little bit since they're in the front and all i mean by that is just giving them a quick little um palm roll and that's pretty much it I take my edge cream which is this um, 
edge cream i'm gonna leave it down in the link below i got it at the dollar tree it was like a dollar it works well for me and it holds decently it doesn't hold all day but i didn't want this look the whole all day so now i'm just taking the edge cream and my toothbrush and and no you guys know this is the toothbrush i use for my edges but anyway i'm taking the toothbrush and i'm just kind of pushing the gel in the direction i want i have another actual edge brush for this that i use and um after i put all the gel where exactly where i need it to go and everything that's when i take the actual edge brush and clean it up some more but this is just like basically a rough doing getting everything in the direction that i want it to go So now I'm taking my actual edge brush and I'm taking the comb side and I'm cleaning it up a little bit more to get those crispy, crispy edges. And I take the brush and just brush it back a little bit further. Then I take the uh, lock that I had sticking out and I like put it over where the edges are like ending to go down. And I'm just gonna pin it up right now. I just tucked it into the rest of my hair back there But I'm actually gonna use a bobby pin to pin it up right there And whatever I do to one side I'm gonna do to the other side So again, we're just using the bobby pen to go ahead and pin up that lock um, so it will stay in place. And yeah, so we have our bond and it's okay if they, if some of them stick out or not, but um, that's pretty much the look for you guys. It's a nice cute bond, simple, easy to do on beginner or starter locks at short, medium, or long length. Um, as you see the back I didn't really pin up the back um, some of my locks in the back are a lot shorter so they sort of stick out a little bit but overall I love this look it's super simple it's super clean and if you're looking for something that can be elegant as well I would just add more gel to the hair if that's what you're looking for again I would use a gel that's softer so that it will wash out and it won't stay in your locks but other than that that is it for you guys so thank you once again for tuning into my channel and I hope to see you guys next time on my next video. And let me know if you have any questions or concerns. I'll link everything down in the comments below. Anyway, bye guys.